Hi there, Mark here again. Today we're going to be looking at this battery charger that was sent to me by EuroRC. Um, they recently sent, if you've watched my other video, this LiPo battery, but when I said to them I hadn't got a charger, they very kindly sent me this one. So uh, I'm really pleased about that because one, it's a LiPo charger, but also it works with nickel metal hydride, NICADs and LIFE or LIFE batteries. So it's a uh, it is um, a basic uh, kind of startup charger, but it has got quite a few little features on it. So we'll just get out of the box and have a quick look. So this is the main unit itself. It also comes with a couple of adapters. So we've got uh, a Dean's to Tamiya, or a T-plug, and then we've got the T-plug and the two banana plugs which go into the unit itself. We'll have a look at that in a sec. It also obviously comes with a separate mains cable. There's a, a good length on this, which is cool. So we've got probably a good meter at least with that and that plugs into the socket there on the back and there's obviously no other power supplies to plug into your main socket and uh, it is available with the UK plug like this and um, the European plug. So as I said this was kindly sent to me by EuroRC.com they've also given me a discount code so I'll put those in the description there's a link to EuroRC I'll put a link to the charger uh, and the discount code so do check them out thanks again and let's uh, see what we do to get this connected up so obviously the first thing you need to do is get your two banana plugs and put it in where it says output and then we've got the option here if you've got a 2s and a 1s connector there's a 3s 2s and 1s connector next to it there we've got the switch here where we can select lipo life or nickel metal hydride nicad and there's an optional temperature sensor that I don't have but I think you can connect that to your battery which is an extra safety precaution and then we've got um, the switch here on the end which is 1 amp, 3 amp and 5 amp, amp selector switch so that's pretty cool um, the other charges I've got for my nickel metal hydrides are I think they're about 1.3 amp and they take between 2 and 3 hours to charge kind of a 3000 milliamp hour battery but this being a 3 amp I've tried the nickel metal hydrides in that and uh, they're charged up in less than an hour at that setting for the 3000 milliamp hour battery the 5 amp setting I think that is a real fast charger I would only use that with bigger batteries um, so it is capable of doing a pretty quick charge with the LiPo I've tried this one in it which is a uh, 4500 milliamp hour and with it on the 3 amp setting it takes um, about an hour and a half I think to that so that's pretty quick I think with this battery I'll be safe using the, the 5 amp but I'm happy with waiting an hour or so for a battery to charge up rather than blasting it with current so um, let's have a look at how we connect it up it's very simple as I say you've got this connector this did have a Dean's connector on it uh, or the C plug but I've swapped it because of all my Tamiya's so what we need to do then is plug the adapter in a very tight fit and then I think first we need to plug in the balance cable I'm going to plug it into the main so we can see the lights what we should see now is the status light will come on I think it's like a, an orange colour at the moment um, because we've not plugged the battery in so make sure you've got the uh, switch set to LiPo I've set this to 3 amps for this battery because uh, that's where I think uh, suits this one the best and then we plug the power in obviously you need to follow all your LiPo precautions so if you're gonna do this you need to be putting this into a, a safety bag or a box maybe you need an extension cable for that as well anyway as you can see now the battery type has gone red hopefully you can see under this light which uh, shows LiPo if I put my uh, nickel metal hydride in that will be green okay and the status at the bottom there is green because I've charged this battery um, if your battery needs charging that status light will go to red and when it turns green it's finished charging simple as that so that's it basically um, I'll just quickly go through the specs as I said it will do nickel metal hydride, NICADs LiPo's LIFE batteries does 1S, 2S and 3S and for your nickel metal hydrides or NICADs it will do 6 or 8 cells so that's another little feature there um, but the most important thing I think is that this is a, a well made unit it's a really good sturdy alloy case that it comes in 
Um, there's not really much to go wrong with it, to be honest with you. It's all well protected. There's no noisy fans or anything like that. So that's all good news. But I think the best uh, thing to know is that this is a microprocessor controlled Delta Peak sensitivity. Um, so um, it's got the sensors in there. It's got individual cell balancing for LiPo and life batteries. Um, and I think that's the main thing is, you know, that uh, it is a balanced charger. And for the money, um, like I say, it's entry level, it's pretty cheap, it's ch cheap as chips. And with the options for the different type of batteries, it's a good startup charger in my opinion. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Nice and quick and simple, but um, yeah, it does everything it says on the tin. If you're looking for something to start off with, it covers all the options. You've got the three different types of batteries. You've got 2S and 3S. Uh, it's a balanced charger, microprocessor controlled. Um, nothing really to go wrong is uh, is what I can say on that. So yeah, it's it's a good little unit. Thanks again to uh, Eurorc for sending it to me for a test, and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye.